Brown, Steve Castor on a Friday edition of One Bill Live. And it is that time in the show where we test Steve's short and long-term memory, I guess, <laughs> with the latest edition of Tasker's Teammates. So here we go. Steve has done pretty well uh, of late, and we remind you that Tasker's Teammate is brought to you by Wegmans Meals to Go. Delicious meals delivered. Download the Wegmans app today. Steve is uh, finding his center right now. Clue number one, Steve. John Fina. It's not John Fina. I I was born in Tampa, Florida, and was a four-sport athlete in high school. Yeah, a lot of NFL players come out of the state of Florida, of course, as you know. So I didn't figure I was narrowing it down too much. You get this on the first clue. I'm going to hurt you. No, I'm I'm drawing a blank. (laughs) Tampa, Florida. Steve got it on the first clue last week. I couldn't believe it. You want to move on to the second clue? Move on to the second clue. Second clue. So taking it a step further, in high school, I was a standout in football, track, wrestling, and baseball. Ted Washington. It is Ted Washington. It well is. done, Steve. And we don't have Ted even on the phone yet because you got it so damn fast. Ted, well, I got it right. It was Ted, yeah. <laughs> he won a state title in wrestling. Oh, yeah. It was in the story, right. it was in the unlimited weight class. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about Ted. So, and I know that you know this. Cause I, I hung out, all my guys... They're all big, right? They're all six five, you know, and and so I, you kind of get immune to hanging around and being with in a big place guys. with big guys. And every day when I walked, when Ted Washington came to our team in ninety five or ninety six, ninety five, yeah. Every day I saw him walk in the locker room, I thought, man, that guy is big. Yeah. I never got immune to how big he was, and, and the way word got out that he was a wrestler. That's how I got it. I thought, yeah. oh, he's a wrestler. Okay, and I playfully one time squared off in the middle of the locker room oh with him God. right what are you insane because you know i wasn't gonna wrestle him but i want to say okay so i'm getting we're, we're he like okay so he's he like gets in his wrestling stance and i got like a hair too close his arm came out like a rattlesnake grabbed me <laughs> grabbed me by the form and he was so strong he, he didn't even have to wrestle me. He just gripped my arm hard and bent and just bent me to the ground. I went down on my back like, 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 I, I, like I was a fat tick. I was laying on the ground going, let go, let go. <laughs> uncle, uncle. I could not believe how fast his yeah. hand reached out. and Because, you know, I felt like wide receiver. I could, you know, I could, I had some quicks, right? Yeah. No. no. Teddy. Yeah. He Teddy gets had his hands on, on you. It's over. Teddy had me on the ground in like literally two seconds and on the line with us is the latest answer to tasker's teammate steve got you in two guesses ted washington two clues was all he needed we didn't even get past your high school career and he guessed you uh i don't know if i was giving up too much ted but uh i said you were a four sport athlete in high school and the giveaway for steve was the wrestling oh man that was too easy Right? Yeah, I probably gave too much. I didn't even get to the got milk clue, but he did remember what that was in reference to. Yeah, I still okay, got the... so that's, the, that's the clue that I had was the got milk. Yeah, I've, got, I've still got that hanging in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. How you doing, Ted? You do, you, you look, we had you on FaceTime for a minute during the break. How you feeling? You doing good these days? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm just hanging there, just, just you know, with this COVID stuff, you know, it's been extra cautious and careful and, you know, wearing a mask and just not doing a lot of traveling and just wait till this crap is over with. What do you, you played for an awful long time. What do, what do you remember most about your playing days? I mean, you played at the most physical position ever and you played for, for a long, long time. What do you think, you know, what, you know, what do you think about when you think back on your football career, you played for a bunch of really good football teams and, uh, you know, what do you what do you recall the most? Well, to me, it, it was the fans. Just coming out of tunnels and, and and just seeing the fans yelling your name, being excited, at you know, with, with me, you know, having been around a lot of top ranked defenses wherever I went, 
And uh, just that feeling, just to walk through a tunnel, uh, especially Buffalo, and uh, or driving down Abbott Road or wherever just to get to the game or down 20A, that rush would never, ever leave. I mean, everyone says you're first born or your kids and all that good stuff. Yes. But that football feeling, just to know you got fans out there that, that love you to death, um, that's one of the greatest feelings in the world. And how weird would it be for you now, Ted, to come out and play games in front of nobody on a Sunday? How weird would that be for you? I, I, I don't the, – the mental part will, would be hard. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if um, – what they're doing now, because you can hear a little crowd noise. You know how we prepare for our, our dome team and um, we play the loud crowd noise. Yeah. yeah. Are they doing that? Are they doing that now they, at the stadium? They well, M- Coach McDermott still does do it. He plays loud music throughout every practice, uh, partly to keep everybody's energy up, but also so the offense can kind of get used to it. And I guess the defense too, because you know when you're when you're uh, at home, we know how loud it gets. No, I'm saying, are they doing that, that now with the games? Yeah, they're allowed to play music and but not, artificial crowd not, noise, but not. Uh, I think there's a decibel limit, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it'll be hard. Uh, if I can hear just the noise, I'll be fine. And But just look around and just see limited people, uh, it's kind of hard. But it's your job, and you got to do what you got to do, and play, that, play the sixth amendment. When you watch football now, and I, I guess I guess I take it for granted that you watch football now, what do you think of the players that are playing your position and how defenses are deployed these days? What do you notice that's different, or maybe what do you notice that's never changed? I hate to I hate to call out of them out. It's, it's the fundamentals of the game. Uh, the techniques are different. Uh, using the hands is not a, you know. I guess they don't emphasize that anymore. Um, it's just more like the guys just getting up, just get up field and you know, fill your gap, make the play. That's to me not you know sound defensive plan. You know uh, we're used to grabbing, throwing down, and you know technique, yeah, using yeah. your hand, right. But it's I, I don't see it as much. And then you know you if happy with that, that's fine. But a lot of injured, yeah, right. because you know you just taking off upfield and not really protecting yourself. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if anybody could uh, grab people and throw them around as well as you could. So, uh, we, <laughs> Ted, we are, we are unfortunately out of time, but we're glad we were able to connect with you uh, after Steve guessed you after only two guesses. That's got to feel good. So, uh, always good to talk to you, Ted. We'll catch up with you down the road here, all right? Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks, Ted. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, that's a three-time Pro Bowler with the Bills Ted Washington, he had four Pro Bowls in his entire career, a career that I think spans 16 years, Yeah, he, uh, which he is mentioned insane. It. He mentioned it. He played on a lot of really great defenses, yeah, and a did. lot of those really great defenses started right where he was. 